today I'm replacing the screen on my Sony Vio model VGN N250E. Now to start off, I've removed my battery and I've disconnected the cord so there's no power in here. It's just a safety precaution. And you got four of these little rubber mounts in each corner that hide the screws. And then you remove the four screws on the, I guess it's called the bezel. Then you want to very carefully reach inside of here, just slide your finger along to snap it out of place, then lean it forward and slide upward and it should pop right out. Once you have that removed you have two screws on each side, two screws in, on each side of the bottom corners. So we remove those. Now you'll carefully lean it forward, lay it flat, and on the back side you'll have a 30 pin connector that you carefully pull out. In the right hand side is a two prong plug, you very gently pull that out. Okay, now with the help of my wife, we have to remove the uh, I call them frame, frame rails, mounting rails. They connect to the side of the, the screen so it can mount to the lid. So if you'll please hold that. Mm -hmm. There's three screws, two to the top and one towards the bottom. It's a little bit easier when you've got And I'll flip it over and do the other side. Okay, just hold that please. Okay, now we have the old screen is removed. Now I ordered the new screen from LaptopScreens.com. I ordered it Saturday, November 5th. Got it Thursday, November 8th. Very quick processing. Very well packaged against shipping damage. They went and put an anti-static guard over it. Well, now we'll remove this. Now I have my wife hold this again and we'll put the rails on this. Be sure this little plug here will mark your right side because on the frame rails it will say right or R for right and it will say L for left. So we're going to be doing the right side and make sure they face inward. One to the bottom, two to the top. There is a fourth hole, but my particular laptop did not have a screw in there. Okay, 
now we're going to flip it over and work on the other side. Two to the top, one to the bottom. Now we're going to lay this down and connect the connector to it. You want to be very careful with this. It is... It will slide in. Try to grab on the edges and don't push on the wires until it locks in. Then you come over here and you put this plug in. It can only go in one way, so if it doesn't go in, flip it over until it locks into place. Now we are going to, I'm going to go ahead and remove this protective cover. And then you want to Make sure you, there's little plastic mounting guides. You want to try to push them up on there. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and Once you go onto the laptopscreens.com, they have a very nice navigational page to find the product you are looking for. So they explain the different types of monitors, where mine is what they call one bulb CCFL. So now put this trim back in. I kind of lean it forward. I found it worked the best. And then kind of work it into place. Snap. Okay. So while I'm finishing, putting the screws in. Turn it on and we have a new working monitor. Courtesy of laptopscreens.com. Usually a screen replacement runs you two hundred dollars with shipping, handling, tax. I paid one hundred twelve dollars for this monitor, so I saved myself a hundred dollars doing it myself takes less than 10 minutes to swap one of these out and they're pretty straightforward so it's an easy process And there is the new screen replaced. I hope this video will be detailed enough to guide you through your process of replacing it. Thank you and have a good day.